Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and press the bell icon so that the next time the episode comes up, you get a notification. We are very different, and mm. we're both men. But his idea of being a man is this. तू मर्द है, मर्द बन के रह यार. ये लाइन है मैंने सुनी है कि क्या लड़कियों की तरह होता है. So what? So it's kind of like a slap to the society. So what about you know the head of that? Are ya. Idea of beauty jo society ne diya hua hai na ki you should look like this. Kuch log na aise hote hain ki jinke bas aas paas rehne se na life thodi easy ho jati hai. Ye log bahut annoying hote hain lekin jitne annoying hote hain usse kai zyada zaruri hote hain. I mean, who can do without best friends, यार Can you imagine life without them? I I can't. और मुझे नहीं पता एक लड़का और एक लड़की एक दोस्त हो सकते हैं कि नहीं लेकिन दो लड़कों की फ्रेंडशिप से कम्पीट तो डेफिनेटली नहीं कर सकते हाई दिस इज अंकुश भाउगना यू ट्यून इन टू येट अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ द जेंटलमैन शो बाय द मैन कंपनी जहाँ पे हम वो हर एस्पेक्ट डिस्कस करते हैं जो हमारी लाइफ से जुड़ा होता है जिसके बारे में हम बहुत सोचते हैं बट इतना डिस्कस नहीं करते और आज हम बात करने वाले हैं मेल फ्रेंडशिप्स की बिकॉज दे आर सच एन इंटेग्रल पार्ट ऑफ ऑल ऑफ आर लाइफ एंड फॉर दैट आई हैव टू वेरी स्पेशल गेस्ट विद मी टू वेरी गुड फ्रेंड्स एंड स्टैंड अप कमेडियंस एज मच एज निर्मल वुड लाइक टू डिसग्री वी हैव निर्मल एंड अभिषेक कमिंग इन ऑल द वे फ्रॉम चेन्नई हाई अंकुश थैंक यू सो मच फॉर हैविंग अस एंड थैंक यू अंकुश वी फील वेरी स्पेशल वी बिन फ्लोन फ्रॉम चेन्नई टू डेली ऑल द वे फॉर द लो पॉडकास्ट एंड टू गेट टू चिल विद यू ऑन द काउच या एंड दे गिव अस वाटर वाटर दिस earphones which are very but special but one second nirmal tell me what was your problem with me calling you stand up comedian yeah even no. i wanted to know what stand up comedian yeah. i it's just because i'm very new in stand up comedy so i was doing content so no. it's just been like 2 months or something so it feels wrong to just oh. say that stand to claim that to claim that i am stand up comedian but do you realize it'll be very weird for him to introduce comedian nirmal <laughs> and stand up comedian yeah yeah, yeah so. i know so yeah that's stand up comedian stand up comedian oh, you okay, okay with that yeah. okay cool so i mean tell me what's up guys uh, what's your absolute first reaction sitting here i i don't know podcast is such a big deal number one <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at, yeah at least in india we've yeah. seen uh, abroad it yeah. being blown up spotify giving you million dollar deals and all yeah. but it's great you, you mine hasn't come yet but uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll manifest it but yeah. you make it sound, seem very cool man it is it's damn cool it's be, fun no the first time i'm seeing makeup for podcast you know there there's mm-hmm. a makeup and there's a cute cost for a podcast yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly so it feels great it it feels like okay we should we should put in some effort i feel like i'm less prepared for this you're less yeah, prepared but yeah. you're a stand up co- comedian like you that you know the expectations are a little like uh, higher <laughs> yeah <Should>. even <laughs> i'm a comedian i think i'm not a stand up comedian but <laughs> wow he's he's backtracked <laughs> come <laughs> he's backtracked normal what do you think yeah i mean now now that you said that there's pressure to think of jokes but uh, no let's. that's absolutely okay no pressure on you guys <laughs> so let's start with uh, how did you both become friends how do you know each other this this fellow will tell one story no you not like the story is <laughs> false so i used to judge fests uh, i used to judge theater fests i was and this game oh, i thought just as a as just a people not as judge people <laughs> that also but uh, i got paid for judging okay. a theater fest in iit madras they have this fest called sarang mm-hmm. nirmal was in nit and he came there to participate to participate participate he was Two years, three years. No, for context, this guy at that time was a five thousand follower guy, like nah. mini celebrity. Again, and the, then every time, every time when I'm saying the story, he interrupts to put this context, which does not. <laughs> it helps. It helps. For so what reason? It helps to make you awkward. I'm guessing. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know. There's no emphasis on that, but okay. So I finish. There's a small break of ten minutes. He comes out of nowhere and is like, "Bro, I have this rap. I want to <laughs> perform this rap for you." I'm like, "Okay, what is this rap about? It's a dosa rap. It's about dosa." Okay. okay. and then he starts rapping and then normally you continue what happened that's it so basically what happened is i knew he was some popular guy or something i don't know how to approach people i just decided i'm going to do yeah you clearly don't comedy. know how to approach <laughs> yeah people. not at all no idea so i just went up to him i did this two two and a half minutes of rap uh, not can we till can we, can we listen to 30 seconds of it i yeah. forgot the entire oh, thing damn, okay. <laughs> Thir- not till date it's it's been 3 years now <laughs> i don't know one line of what he rapped okay it was very very clear now he, to even he doesn't yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so and he stops after a point he realizes no one's able to understand he's like that's it bro and he leaves wow. okay. okay so it was a great ice breaking session i had with this young energetic kid basically i wanted to hear like what do i do with this and all of us with the like, rap yeah okay <laughs> i'm sorry you told, I didn't me, you, tell, told me, you told me you told me you told me much i'm making into a video da yeah at least then i'll understand he'll have lyrics and all right 
<laughs> but uh, where's the rap nirmal are you planning to it's, i'll put it out sometime thank you future yeah. but you will yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when he says thank you he doesn't sound very <laughs> no, no, no. thankful at least then i'll understand that's that's what no. i meant by thank you but you should you should it's it's very funny was, was it one of those situations where someone comes in they're having a conversation you can't hear anything it's like oh yeah 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 yes yes <laughs> no but his conviction was so good like uh. he according to him that was the best rap ever he was <laughs> he was kendrick lamar for those two okay. two and a half minutes so it felt great i was admiring his confidence and conviction but not the context of it and then this is how you guys met but how did you become friends ha huh, that in during the lockdown i two three of his videos surfaced mm. and then i realized he's very funny and i remembered i'd connected the dots telling oh this is the same dosa rap guy <laughs> and like there's something distinctly funny about him he's not usual funny he's different funny and i okay. wanted to work with him so i hit him up telling do you want to make videos together and you were already making videos by this yeah, time he Ha-ha. was already he already blew up with this character called mrs janaki that he did yeah it. one one character i did it blew up during the lockdown uh-huh. so i have this thing i it's weird asking someone bigger than you to collaborate you know they'll feel like you're leeching on yeah, them yeah. Yeah. but it's always nice if you ask someone lower you are you're not obligated to right 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 you won't feel guilty yeah so i i i really liked his work it was very distinctly funny so i asked him if he can if you want to collaborate and we started making videos yeah. and that's how you became friends yeah yeah he uh, Show me your T-shirt. Is it's the same T-shirt you're wearing? Same T-shirt. I'm wearing the same T-shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's H and M. Wow. Yeah. Well, we can't say H and M. It's the Man Company, sir. So. <laughs> yeah, it's from the wardrobe department of yeah. Man Company. It's uh, shout out to wardrobe department. That's so cool. Yeah. yeah. Wow, it reminds me of that meme that's floating on the internet that if two women, <laughs> oh, that uh, uh, you know, uh, see each other wearing the same dress, they get like, oh shit, why is yeah. she wearing the same dress? And when two men, they're like, they bond, <laughs> they bond over it. it. It's it's smart that you got a jacket on top of yeah, it. Yeah, you're I, trying. I'll to take it off. Yeah, no, 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 no Never mind. Let's <laughs> move on. <laughs> I say it's too. Now I feel what you felt that day. <laughs> like like you time time traveled and you were ten years yeah, later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh. I'm stuck between both of you and yeah. Oh God. Ah, okay. I should have stopped <laughs> explaining <laughs> it. Yeah. So how growing up? How were your male friendships like? Do you still have uh, those? Uh, Amazing. I uh, uh, for for me friends itself. I think you can have only very few tight, extremely tight friends yeah. types. So yeah. I did have. Th- one of my friend my best friend till to date is we were in the same lkg section mm. we were throughout school we were in the same section in college we studied the same course we did the same job until like i quit like a few uh, sometime back so yeah he's still my best friend types in yeah. college also i met some three four other guys who were extremely tight friends with me school i've lost everybody else except that one dude so um abhishek do you are you are you someone who really values friendships in life like oh yeah, yeah, yeah at some point i i think after during my first relationship i got very distracted by falling into the relationship love and all that so you lost friends i didn't lose friends i lost. i wasn't as tight with my best friends when i was in that honeymoon phase of the relationship but that always happens i i realized that i should it shouldn't have happened that way because my friends got really uh, pissed about the fact that i i didn't spend as much time and with them and they didn't like the person you were dating let me no, guess no they 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 did like her but then it wasn't the same you know whenever i went i had so yeah. much to catch up yeah it didn't feel right right later relationships felt so good because i balanced time well if i had gone on a date i'll make sure i meet my friends after that you know i made sure they were always in the loop of things yeah i you know there's this uh, thing that i've realized over time that your relationships everything is like nothing beats friendships in life yeah nothing yeah because you know your your girlfriends your boyfriends everything they'll come and go but who's going to stay your yeah, friend yeah exactly yeah. it's a, it's a constant right and really? you know it's the only relationship which is not which happens the most organically absolutely like yeah, especially yeah. dating and all you seek dates yeah, you yeah, go yeah. and yeah. seek absolutely. people to absolutely. fall in love with and whatever um family you don't have a choice yeah. Yeah. friends are the only people just you know you happens. just come together and it just clicks and it happens and there are no expect like there is the right amount of distance they don't yeah. demand too yeah, much yeah 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 but you still fulfill each other's you know you make each other's lives more wholesome to to think yeah. about it i i don't remember the first time i met my best friends you know it was so organic you don't know it's like a dream i don't yeah. know where the dream started you know it, yeah. it, but it's going great yeah. so that's very true of you it. it's so organic that you don't know how it started yeah but it's the best yeah best i mean thing. i want i want my listeners to also uh, think about this key when you think of your best friends do you remember the first day you met probably not no. you have great memories no. but no yeah 
time passes and you don't realize how important this one person becomes for exactly, you exactly exactly mm-hmm. oh my god yeah that's so true that's so true yeah, yeah and it's you know in case of men especially because you know we all grow up uh thinking that it's not okay for us to express cry whatever but it's only with their friends where their safe space lies oh yeah i think even if they've mm. done something wrong which is also slightly problematic that your friends will always hype you up no matter <laughs> what shit you've done uh but i think f- in case of men their safe space is always their friends it's yeah, never so their true. family it's never their partners it's somehow always their friends no yeah so true so true yeah. recently recently we had a show in dubai yeah it was my first ever international trip oh wow i have two of my best friends in school one's in san francisco mm-hmm. one is in auckland they both flew to dubai for the show that's uh, only friends can do that man i still don't know why they did that <laughs> i i would have not done it even if i was as rich as them both yeah but they came they didn't come for the show they stayed with us two days yeah. they booked the same hotel we were staying in are and you guys chilled we chilled for two days. it we haven't chilled like that in ages i yeah. haven't met these guys because covid happened and all that it's yeah. been 3 years since i saw their faces we had a trip in dubai but mm. i think only yeah f- best friends can do shit like and this and somehow can, these two because they are best friends with them or something and he is friends with me they just accepted me fully yeah, just yeah. no nothing it was so they comfortable to be with now, them adopted yeah. <laughs> It's great to be adopted by rich people man. <laughs> they're clearly rich if they flew to Dubai yeah, for yeah. a show. Yeah, they are they're not revealing a lot of uh, financial details to me <laughs> but I'm happy okay. for them. Well, do you all do you sometimes find yourself seeking validation from your friends like for example my friends are I wouldn't say that they love what I do because mm. I mean they don't think that I'm that funny and I've I've made them at a point where you know I mean I was a different I used to be a very different person back then when I was in this conference and whatever so uh-huh. they know me from then uh-huh. so now they know ki I mean we're very happy for whatever you're doing but we know you from the college like mm. you're the college wala ankush for me yeah yeah, yeah yeah and initially in my journey I used to get like a little miffed that you know why you're not supportive and it's not like they're not supportive they're just not my audience you know yeah, they don't yeah, particularly yeah, exactly. find me funny they're like uh, what's the big deal yeah. you're, not, you're funnier in real life they like no matter yeah. how funny I am in my videos <laughs> they'll be like yeah but you're funnier when you're not trying you know when we're just talking then you're funnier What this, are you doing? This yeah. I've realized very uh, early on. Like in initially, when I just started making videos and stuff, the first two videos or something, all my friends shared and stuff like that. Soon they stopped, and I was that time I was curious. I was like, why is yeah. nobody supporting? Yeah. But then I realized that they are not obligated to. Yeah, it's, it's not funny. their thing to. And that's when I realized, okay, uh, my goal is to not make my friends keep sharing my stuff all the time. It's to make general audience yeah, and feel that, and, I, I, and and that's where it becomes special. Yeah. At some point, they share some video. Yeah, you know that video is you know extremely funny. Insane. I'm a massive validation. Yeah, yeah. When that so happens. Yeah. that always happens because I don't share any of my work on my friends' groups and all that. Yeah. So at yeah. some point, if it surfaces on my friends' group, telling Masha, this is funny. That means that video is done really well. Yeah. Yeah. So so my so my guy best friend, uh, who's always told me on my face that uh, you're trying too hard. You're not really funny. Like I mean. He didn't say you're not funny. He said you're funny in real life, but uh-huh. when you're making content, I know you as a person. So I know when you're try when you're trying to crack a joke, yeah. you, you know people inside yeah. out, right? When you're best friends with them. So recently I did a short film, and he specially messaged me saying, wow. "Dude, what a performance! I know that it was you, but it didn't still didn't feel like you. And I've seen you act in it always. I always am aware that oh, he's trying to act, but this time you didn't, and that meant so much to me. Nice. That meant way more than all the other compliments that I got. But what happens? What is the dynamic between you two then? Because like you said, you can disconnect with your friends, but with uh-huh. him you can't. We can't. Yeah. You connect further. <laughs> but but then we discuss about things off content creation, off comedy as you much do? as we yeah. discuss about as much. Also. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. happened gradually yeah, because yeah, yeah. first few times when you're just making videos, that's all on your mind. That's the only yeah, common yeah, thing you yeah. know. Soon as you spend more time, we know other common factors, it, common it, interests. It's about realizing that it's a safe space. Yeah. To talk about anything. So we gain trust over yeah this time. one and a half years that we can talk about anything. Then you can talk yeah. all the yeah. shit. Yeah, like like for want. example, the this podcast was going before this, right? We were texting each other about how it's going and how we have to prepare. Yeah. And then he's like, my pate is not good. So <laughs> the wow. tangents to he's, our conversation are amazing. He slips, uh, he slips out all your embarrassing, embarrassing. things so easily. I and look at him being clueless. कि यार ये तो कुछ करता ही नहीं है. Yeah, dude. There like, must be something. Dude, nothing. Like he doesn't even fart. I do, really? I do. It's very silent. <laughs> See again, <laughs> the fart is also incognito. If I fart, I'm just like yeah. that. Nobody we needed did not to hear need that. that. We did not need that. ASMR. Nobody needed that. That is the normal play, ladies and gentlemen. This so is why. Now, now, now I, uh, now I get him. <laughs> I completely get him. But when you watch movies, um, and how movies represent best friends and all, do you think that's true? Some movies, some movies even we watch together and we're like, ah, oh, what time we should do this? Like, zindagi na milagi do. I was just gonna say, yeah. 
friends don't make plans that easily first of all Yeah. but but it's friends don't have so much money yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's aspirational we're like we should go have you seen yeah, but there's something about movies on friendships that you will watch them no matter how bad there are some yeah, friendship movies that yeah. are not great but just you want to feel the vibe just the fact that they're about friends and you watch them and you're like i want to experience everything that i've read in books or oh, seen yeah, in movies yeah. what are the last friends movie you watched and you're like i related to it yeah i mean on, it was not a male friendship movie but uh, last i finished that show called the bold type Oh uh, yeah, okay. it's about three okay. women, and mm. they're they're friends. So I love watching shows and movies where it's about friendship, and friendship takes precedence over mm. everything else. Yeah, yeah, because that's how I see my life. I'm like very yeah. true, very true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, same. The the only thing I whine a lot, I crib a lot about everything in life. The one thing I always say that I lucked out on is friends. I agree. It, I am, it's I, I, I want to yeah. second that statement. Yeah, same. It's the one, and sometimes when I'm feeling really low, I remind myself that listen, like I've. For the longest time, I've had such good friends who've stuck around, and nothing has gone wrong. Yeah. And that is there is so much to be grateful for, like yeah. in there. Yeah. But then when I see these movies where they're making these Euro trip plans, <laughs> and I go back to my group where half the people haven't responded. Someone saying, "You, I have a haven at home, so oh I can't go God. to Europe," and someone has already gone. In the meanwhile, someone has already made a plan and gone. Yeah, without ma- us. My my friends are binary. They either come to Dubai or you don't meet them for three years. <laughs> so I relate to it. to to meet them in chennai because they are yeah. right now in chennai yeah. i haven't met them it's been 3 4 weeks so it's very tough to put plans together and also the whole idea that friends will give you the best advice no they don't no 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 they <laughs> give the worst advice they give impulsive advices just yeah. to end the conversation right there like oh yeah yeah, yeah eat orange it's good for your skin <laughs> i'm like okay thanks okay. how's that going to help me yeah. get the girl back <laughs> eating an orange exactly how do i get to auckland with orange on my face <laughs> but uh, what are the worst advices that like friends have given you worst advices yeah mine was stand up to people in your office oh yeah stand why what happened there i mean in general you know like if you feel that someone's not giving you your due whatever stand up to people in your office and all that and it's so filmy to say all of these things <laughs> but then you know it <laughs> makes things awkward oh like that and turns out it was my fault so <laughs> i think i don't think my friends have given me worst yeah. advices they just know i'm easily uh, tauntable you know they taunt me so much they make me do weird tauntable shit. Ye, this is also a trait now <laughs> is it is it a word i just made it up you i just think. made it up but i'm <laughs> sure a lot of people relate yeah so very easy to taunt you basically yeah very easy to taunt me like for example there's once we hit a basketball outside our school premise okay it fell yeah. into a neighbor's house this guy casual to just jump get the ball and come i jumped i got the ball no one was there around me except oh. my pt sir with a huge stick he oh, whacked wow. the shit out of me i didn't see my friends Last time I met them was in Dubai. After that, so it was they just disappeared very in stealth mode. <laughs> <laughs> What about you? Worst advice? I don't think anybody's given me worst advice because usually what happens is we have a if I have a problem or somebody else has a problem, we sit together and we try to figure out what are we gonna do for this. Oh, wow. it's like that. It's like a brainstorm. It's a group project. It's a yeah, group it's, it wow. becomes a group project at the end. Yeah, this this sounds like a movie, no? Yeah. Masha, I have a problem. Then the next scene they're all it's together in one room. But in rea- reality, half Balls. of the people are not gonna <laughs> pick the. F- Phone. Yeah, hey, nice day. Yours, yours is little scripted. The life, <laughs> it's <laughs> definitely <laughs> scripted. In in North India, this is like a recurring joke between friends. That you know, there's a line called "Gadi tera bhai chalaega." It's it basically means that uh, a lot of people in North India they get drunk and they they have this urge to drive. Huh. Yeah, okay. We saw yesterday. Okay. We saw. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they wo gadi tera bhai chalaega wale. It's a sentiment. So if you bhai basically mean meaning like my best friend right so no matter how drunk the guy is he will tell his best friend ki gaadi to main chalaunga mm. it's a sentiment is uh-huh. there is there anything like that um with you guys like a sentiment yeah i i think we we work on this uh, motor even yesterday we talked is there like it. a line that you that yeah. people in south india say a lot patakla macha he like he saw on trailer yeah, yesterday and he's dropping it to okay we related to it it's basically patakla means We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Like they can't. Yeah, yeah, they can't. Basically, yeah. That, but that to us specifically, what we like doing is when we are on this tour, we realized every time we are in a new city, both of us oh. are equally excited. We are yeah. impulsive, and Max. That every after every show that night, we we go sleepless. We explore the city. Yeah, we do all the cliche stuff. And we want to do th- like we'll drag some people, whoever is there, our our friends who are there in the particular city. Yeah, this is such a good topic to discuss, man. Like you can be best friends with people, but they could be horrible travel companions. <laughs> Oh, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's where we lucked out we lucked because out, we we're equally 
curious as to what the new city maybe is. that's how you bonded man ha yeah maybe maybe yeah because yeah. you like traveling so much and i don't know there's something about trips that everything is just two times more philosophical oh yeah and everything in life makes sense and everything it, it, is it's, aspirational it's like you feel less guilty wasting time in another city yeah. than your city oh, that's yeah. that's what i feel yeah. yeah okay in my city if i were doing a night out the entire night i'm like i'm wasting yeah. so much time i should have been home and made some videos or reels yeah but in delhi i feel like i'm holidaying yeah, yeah how does it matter how productive i am yeah technically sense. i'm not holidaying i'm here for work but yeah. still i can but, but still. it's just one night yeah. in delhi i feel like accumulating those experiences are also part of your work only we're doing something new yeah. absorbing so many new things you're like whoa yeah it will reflect so, somewhere you know in a way now that i hear this uh, hear you say this i realize that it's actually good that you have someone who will have your back yeah 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 because the advice that he'll give you nobody else will and i know because i have genuine friends in the content creation industry oh lovely and you know have i looked at their success and felt like oh shit you know i could have been there yes but i think it's human tendency to constantly like for me i think yeah, it's, yeah. it's human tendency to compare your journey with other people even if they're f- your friends but i've realized that it's okay if it's a trans it's a transient feeling and eventually yeah. if you're also feeling happy for them then it's absolutely fine eventually if you are still feeling happy for that friend it's it's great but um it's good to have friends in the same industry because sometimes they will look out for you yeah. Yeah. in ways that you don't understand like yeah yeah for example there 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 is a video of mine which went viral for the wrong reason people started uh, questioning okay. it there a lot of comments on it we had a conversation that night okay i asked him what's wrong about this video and he told you he told me this uh he told me how they are why they are receiving it wrong you know if if it makes any difference so i don't think i can have such conversations with my best friends mm. who won't understand yeah, yeah. the dynamics of content creation yeah in fact like i find it so important to have friends in the same profession also because yeah. other friends may not like you said understand yeah what your profession yeah. entails yeah. like for example if i crave about my, my follower count decreasing to they my architect like, friends I, they'll call it a first world problem first yeah, yeah. <laughs> they'll be like what the f- yeah <laughs> we're having a saturday night uh, google meet call just come there yeah. yeah and if i tell that to my content creator friends they'll be like Okay, cool. I'll give you a shout out, and you know, yeah. like maybe your engagement. Should, that should works. Go. That works. Then I mean, some yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great. I'll do it. I'm kidding. Yeah. But um, no, it's, it's 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 great to have your friends because I ask these questions because you know a lot of friends they start business together oh. and mm. things don't go well sometimes. Yeah, I've heard and, this. Yeah, and then their friendship breaks. Oh correct. shit! Kitni okay. bar like it's it's such a common thing. It's so many movies have been made on this that you know two friends they they see a dream together they work mm. towards yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Then something goes wrong along the way. But I think what you just said is so important to know that the underlining thing is that you are friends and you yeah. to never forget that you're supposed to hype each other up yeah. no i so also true. feel that it's important that we both have our own individual brands yeah. and the collaboration just amplifies so how do that you, and these two things how together. do you maintain that individual also another question as professionals not as friends when you're working together when people are watching you now they're seeing you together mm-hmm. as a pair yeah how do you cast your individual impressions without trying to outdo each other so i think our individual content is a is it different from each other it's a little different right yeah yeah uh, that that makes us help stand out i think because if if we are the same people doing videos together and individually it will become boring you know i think we are little Fair. yeah i think we are little different from each other in terms of individual content that makes them want to follow us both well what if one of you gets very viral because of your individual content i think both of us have had faces of having these viral uh, okay. videos yeah. okay one of the other videos every 3 months i think we've had one video do well okay yeah. individually Indivi- which in which the other person was not there in, yeah i'm talking about i think we are fairly confident that if we do a video together it will do well yeah because we are extra careful in amping up the quality that yeah. way yeah. Yeah. i'm talking about individual videos every 3 months we have at least is one video which does well for each other and yeah. that doesn't change the dynamic, the dynamic. between at all at all I think we'll be the first good. one to yeah, share it on the story yeah. also. Also, or I one more point that I wanted to add is this guy also one great thing is he also knew a lot about another industry which is Tamil film industry okay which is acted in so much mm. which I I then I <laughs> I got a He's chance He's modest. He's no, I've done only four films so that's not so much uh, in terms to, me, to me to me to yeah. me. So uh-huh. when I got like a I think he only put me through to somebody who oh, was yeah, yeah, looking was to audition people oh. for so i got an opportunity to act in one tamil thing film and this is a completely different ball game from yeah. content yeah, yeah. so it 
was so great to have him there uh, like behind my back just to be like hey you know you what you can charge this much there this is what you can do this is what you can't do this is how people are here Dude, all have, of that that I, was so good i had uh, i had such good friends in the content creation industry before i got into the scene who would tell me this is how much you should charge huh. mm. and there's not something anybody can tell you exactly exactly you can never ask that you can yeah. never ask someone in a corporate to, field yeah, yeah. How much i just got I job in this company how much are they charge you like ask it hr exactly so, yeah, and so the hr will say you're not supposed to disclose it yeah. <laughs> so i will get back to you <laughs> yeah i will get back to you <laughs> have you ever realized that uh, especially with male friendships a lot is normalized a lot of bad things are also normalized between guys because they understand oh you know it it's fine you're a guy you'll do this you'll say this you huh. you get uh, you get away with a lot because sometimes your male best friends don't call you out on things yeah they yeah. don't correct you because it's just so convenient that you i think you i think i've been the annoying friend who calls out everything because i'm i'm fine tuned i fine tuned my head to be politically right because you put out content you you can't and then your friends hate you <laughs> no no I, yeah, yeah yeah i have this one friend who's uh, very insensitive let's put it that way yeah. he 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 says what he thinks yeah. there's no filter to him yeah. and i am that guy like he's so annoying if he does not like a content creator he go comment mean okay. stuff okay. Oh. he's a troll he's a troll and yeah. i'm like will you do that to me if i was not your friend he's like yeah <laughs> wow i'm like, like yeah what do you say to that so every time <laughs> i and you when you when you follow someone right yeah. their comments are surfacing when you read the you post you can't ignore it i screenshot and send it to him telling why is so mean why is like this so he hates me there were, there were periods where he's blocked me from instagram because oh i God. can't my monitor is notorious stuff because you're like uh, yeah so i'm very glad i'm the friend who calls out stuff because this guy would be oblivious to all the shit he mm-hmm. says you know he can be he can ruin someone's day yeah but i've okay fair yeah. fair what what about you i think i was in a part where uh like i was in a phase where we did not know that we were doing wrong things because all of us are together and we were doing like <laughs> yeah, nobody things. knows better nobody knows we better we were in school we were doing shitty things all the time yeah yeah not and like I, not like i've not done shitty things yeah. in the recent past time <clears> little <throat> more aware that's all so he maintains the, <laughs> <laughs> that's what he says yeah. but in college also in the first two years or something it's just you enter college testosterone is running through you you don't know what you're doing yeah. Yeah. you're just a d- no okay sorry not d- you're a you're a mean person sometimes <laughs> okay to people and then slowly you realize <laughs> the harm is done you realize right <laughs> slowly so, you realize yeah. through what happened to us all is we started realizing it together right? by its second year yeah. third year and all we were like oh you're Dude. walking in a random only much huh? no it kind all of, of us are assholes <laughs> ah. <laughs> kind of you start realize oh, dude what we were put through. but see for example in my college in my college i was ragging ah. oh. and we got ragged Same. in first year Hmm. and we naturally assume that when we go to second year or something we, we have also to. have to rag uh-huh. and that's what we ended up doing for a long time and that's when you're trying to put on that bravado that mask mm-hmm. oh, all that shit and then <laughs> do that again <laughs> 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 so you're doing all of that and then slowly third year we realize that this is a very toxic cycle because when you're yeah, in first year fifth years are coming and telling you this is how you should be pass outs are coming and telling you this is, so that's what you think is true so it took us to third year to realize that you know what this is not correct this is not okay we stopped by then dude everything and you say i relate so much because mm-hmm. i had the same architecture. cycle yeah Hi-fi. you're an architect yeah, yeah he was not he, he oh that's why yeah. okay yeah. okay yeah because the first year you dragged so badly yeah. and the second year you're like i am going to claim my space exactly. now and third year like what was the point of all of this exactly <laughs> like people were mean to me and in return i was mean to random people yeah. Yeah. yeah how does that make sense it does and then that's when we stopped now when we went back to college also I, we went oh yeah he was he was very woke in college he walks and he asks he randomly juniors will be walking he stops them you going good no i can see so much stress on your face no that's because they were first years who and came up to us and they were like damn sir awkward, man. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no these guys were these guys were first year architecture people who came up to us and they were like sir Uh, can you come here? I'm like, day. Are you okay? They were all having the same ragging things yeah. that we uh, saw. We went through. And, and architecture like, colleges have insane ragging. Like yeah. He studied in the most engineering college, but he picked architecture. He studied <laughs> one? NIT Trichy. Oh. Yeah. But architecture. But architecture. So I think you have a different problem from him. Yeah, me. I think he was mostly ragged by engineers only. No, 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 no. Architecture only. That, that, yeah. That's one clam mentality. Uh-huh. There, yeah. So. Uh, Yeah so like i was saying ki, not to make the discussion serious but uh-huh. i just think this this should be addressed why not uh, a lot of times like for example if a couple fights mm. and the guy is being an asshole and he's done something problematic when he goes back to his guy friends his guy friends rarely tell him mm. that oh you shouldn't have done that they 
Oh, yeah. They kind of support. They tell him, yeah, but you know, you shouldn't have done that. But you know, what do we do? Sometimes oh, it happens, yeah. and you know, a lot in in male groups, a lot of times male. I find some things very problematic about male bonding. Also, yeah. Yeah, yeah, a lot of times men bond over the worst things. Yeah, there's so much to bond over, like we've discussed in this yeah, episode, yeah, yeah. which is why I wanted to bring this towards the end. Correct, correct. Then, yeah. then what is the reason that you bond over objectification of women in your WhatsApp groups? Yeah. Like yeah. I'm sure, growing up, we've all been a part of those WhatsApp groups, and it took me a while to exit them because when you do that, then they're like, "Oh, why are you becoming such an activist? Why do you want to uh-huh. do this?" And you know, like sometimes at some point, your own moral compass shifts, and theirs yeah. haven't. Yeah. And yeah. I've seen yeah, this. Yeah, I've yeah. actually seen this a lot. Where in other friend circles in my own college itself, there have been people. Who, one guy did nasty shit to a girl, like, and the others in that group they didn't call it out. Call it out at all, and we in were fact, just there normali- thinking like, it normalizes what? Why isn't anybody saying this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct, correct. It normalizes things yeah. for others who haven't done it yet, but will think that oh, he also did it. What's a big deal? Shit, yeah, yeah. And I can always come back and tell him. Yeah. So and that fe- felt very. And we, I also, t- we tried having a conversation with this guy also, just two of us. We were like, dude, do you think it was okay to do what you did and something? He's like, hey, I was feeling angry, and I was like, the, okay, that's not good. Yeah, but it's, it's but it doesn't go through them also. It they won't yeah, take yeah. it in a receptive way like oh yeah I did something wrong and that doesn't happen you know especially with male bonding for example when I would uh, a lot of times when you for example in offices when you sit to have lunch with just men and there is no woman around there's a way men talk yeah, yeah. Yeah. there's a way men talk about women and everybody bonds over the fact that oh this is the only space where we can do this uh-huh. which they think is a good thing they don't realize that it's not. Yeah. Even this should not be. It's not. It shouldn't happen. Yeah. Yeah. yeah th- there should be no safe space for this. Yeah. For objectification, for example, or talking like saying lewd things about women in the office. And I've been in so many groups. I've been in so many situations, and it's so difficult to just get up and tell them that, dude, stop. Yeah. But I think this happened recently to a friend of mine. Yeah. Who's never dated before. Okay. And he got married recently. He has never had a female companion, but he was he married. Hmm. He's married now, so we went to his because he he luckily he after his marriage he shifted to Goa officially hmm. like they placed him in Goa. Yeah. So when we went for a holiday, we stayed in his place. Then we realized that this guy is still cracking jokes. He'd crack in eleventh grade. Yeah. With they his wife watching it, and I was so glad the other friend I was with was in same line with me. Like yeah. the jokes didn't get mm. responses yeah. he didn't expected. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and his wife was getting really awkward. Then we had to sit and explain to him, telling, "Listen, this is not okay." It, he he was like, "Why are you not laughing? It's not funny or what?" Then we went back home. We had to explain to him on the WhatsApp group, telling, "Forget uh, telling these jokes in front of your wife. I think these jokes are no more jokes. I think we have to yeah. grow out of it. I think I never had the opportunity to watch him through the face in college and all because we were school friends. Right. I met him after this whole period of right. maturing, if you can call it that." So I'm, I was so glad the other friend of mine was also in, in same lines with me mm-hmm. because it's very awkward when you confront a friend alone yeah. rather than confronting a friend. They get defensive. They don't le- yeah. like learn. Yeah. And also, I think it's a lot to do with ourselves also. We don't want to be the outcast also. Na? Because like, for example, there have been people who have told me to my face that, you know, we don't want to discuss things in front of you because then you become all like, oh, you should not This friend that. received it the same way. Yeah. But then he realized... His wife also maybe had a talk with him or something. Yeah. Maybe he came back to telling. But it's because his wife was involved, so he understood. But I'm saying yeah. it, it it shouldn't be that way. Even it if she was not there, way. right? Exactly. Even if not there, that's what I'm telling. I'm so glad the other friend who was with me was in line with me. Yeah. If he yeah. had laughed for the joke, the whole scenario would have been but different. But you know, as men, we've all been in situations where a bunch of men are bonding. They may not be your best friends. They must just be like yeah, yeah, organizers, yeah. whatever. Oh yeah, oh yeah, show. oh yeah. And they say a lot of sexist shit and we just sit there and we don't say much. Yeah, yeah. We don't say much. And I think that, oh. I wanted to address this on the podcast because I have I realized that we've talked such good things about male friendships and that should be the basis of male friendship and not all of you uh, finding a space where you can openly share like porn <laughs> or <laughs> share pictures of yeah. girls from Instagram yeah. and saying lewd that things about them. That's not male bonding. That's just you finding... That's just you finding uh, excuses yeah, yeah, yeah. to be assholes. I think we, we both actually bonded over that also. Yeah. About where we were with someone, some producer of some show who kept making sexist comments, okay? Telling yeah. that someone was unfunny because they are from a particular gender or something. There were points where we looked at each other yeah, as he was making those comments. He was not close enough for us to confront him and tell him, bro, you should not do this, okay? He was, we didn't even 
it was the first time we met him so i don't think we were comfortable enough to have a conversation we just want to get out yeah. of the place we spent an entire night discussing yeah. about how sexist this guy was hmm. so i think that's another reason why we became close because we had multiple topics other than content creation yeah, yeah. where you get are, each other we are very similar also also we realize that our moral compass to some degree is yeah, yeah. at the same plane so yeah, that really yeah. helps i feel yeah makes sense but <clears throat> like you just said you can't just say it to someone because you're not close enough but Again, i think you should you should but you know like one part of my brain says that oh you should you should stand up and call it out right there but the other part says that yeah like how doable is it i'm not i'm is not the, justifying not yeah, doing it it was a very transactional relationship we shared with this guy hmm. but maybe like you said now uh, while i was narrating the story i felt like i should have i think the, called him out i think the crux is that you need to find a way to say it without making the whole situation yeah. awkward yeah. but in, still in, in my it. head no in my head the my way of saying it is there was a good minute or two awkward silence while he was making it <laughs> yeah there was no reaction mm-hmm. then we were like can we just get to it whatever work we were doing in that's head, also a way to say in my that. head that was me acknowledging that bro we're not finding it funny yeah. Yeah, you're talking to doing i think if you don't laugh at, so in my head i was like it, it if i am not laughing at this no that's again I'm an assumption in, my, in our you. head no that's that. a great start i think like if you don't want to piss people off you don't want to be very because some people we, are not we cons- don't we didn't mind pissing him off okay. because he's not that close no, to but, us, but we should have probably verbally yeah i think that's what i work on i work on ways to say things without making it sound very confrontational so that the person gets so awkward that they don't want to learn they get def- defensive yeah. and then they don't learn and i also feel that so much conversation about women safety this that but the onus is on men to change right yeah. and yeah. i think if you understand something is wrong and if you don't tell that to the guy the woman will not get a chance to yeah yeah so it's us who have to do it i know this all of this sounds yeah. preachy but i just thought that you know why not discuss this no, no it's very important think, i feel yeah. i think also to some degree we don't do it because we know that internally only it comes if if you're going to go through change for example in college in first year or something if somebody had come up second year or something somebody come up to be and like hey you're doing this is wrong i would be very defensive Defense, exactly. and i would be like this is not but slowly through third year and all you start seeing multiple instances but then the people you ragged you still ragged them no, right no, no, but the I, harm I, was done but yeah. again but again someone calling you out would have been the first step step to yeah of doing you that yeah recognizing going, oh, yeah. there's something wrong i might rebel it but still there's a constant even if even if you stop doing it out of fear that's yeah. still better than you doing it anyway yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so i think it's important but i also get when people say ki yaar aise nahi ho pata like you just can't get up and leave from every table that you're a part of but i guess the trick is then if you can't get up and leave then find a way to tactfully tell them yeah. to ta- yeah yeah, yeah. And don't I think ig- that's what we're all working on types ignore mat karo like don't don't ignore it yeah but, but i think that really helped i we should thank you for surfacing that i mean when you talk about male bonding and stuff um you have to address this yeah yeah because mm-hmm. yeah. a lot of whatsapp groups are like so shitty oh, yeah, the yeah. things they say are yeah. just crap yeah they they even talk about their dates in a very crass way the, the, yeah i have an issue with that i, I we discussed this yeah, before exactly. also yeah exactly yeah. i cannot stand it it's no tmi for me also not forget no. me opening up no. i don't want to know what happened in your date also if it's going to go in that line hmm. it gets uncomfortable fair. it gets fair. uncomfortable yeah fair now let's move on to the next segment which is yeah sure kind of the last segment it's called kuch karte hain yaar Huh. which basically mean let's do something bros i guess i don't know so i'm going to uh, a lot of south indian movies have been remade huh. in bollywood so i'm going to say the bollywood name and we let's see if you can the guess the o- original uh-huh. the original uh-huh. the og movie okay yeah ठीक sure. है and you know malayalam movies mm, somewhat why do why does he look like he doesn't even want to participate no, no, no that's no. his poker face that's Let's his uh, resting bitch face like i have a resting worried face worried face same yeah. i have a resting worried face worried okay face. Yeah, cool the first movie is uh, Munna Bhai MBBS Vasul uh, Raja Vasul Raja Malayalam it came no 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 Vasul Raja MBBS Kamal Hasan uh, acted in Chachi 420 Avvay Shanmugi mm. uh, these are like iconic movies Dude, right? both are go to comedy movies mm. for have any. you seen all these bollywood ones also yeah yeah i have, oh. I have to compare who which is better okay janu okay, okay kanmani I I want to watch it I've heard it's a beautiful It's way movie. more better mm. much better than all the movies you yeah. said except Munna Bhai MBBS mm. are better in the other language Nayak I love that movie Nayak mm. Nayak is not tra- is not a remake it's not a remake it, the names are just the same nayak is anil kapoor right yeah in tamil uh, it's it's a nayagan okay the same names no, but they're I not thought it's mud, mud, mudalvan oh mudal yes it's it's mudalvan oh i don't know this see my insider information oh yeah where he becomes a one day president or something yeah. oh yeah it's mudalvan it's, it's uh, mudalvan it's mudalvan yeah, yeah. don't question the question <laughs> i'm sorry sir <laughs> <laughs> and um last bhul bhulaiya hey this thing manachitra tar 
Yeah. That's a Malayalam way. Good, good job, bro. We balanced it. This is how we cover both the languages. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can't tell if the last no, one No, because Mani is... Oh, ah, okay. Oh, it's Chandramukhi. 100 times better than whatever became... Of so, the conclusion Dubai. is that the originals were far better. Much. Except for Munna Bhai. Because Munna Bhai was the original. Oh, yeah. that was the remake. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. yeah. Now, we're going to end this podcast by asking you the last question, huh. which is, if you were to define the modern gentleman in one word, what would it be? Modern gentleman in one word. I think be aware. Aware. Interesting. Mm. Yeah, be aware. Be aware of the privilege you have and be uh, make sure you don't you don't take it as an advantage. It's it acknowledge your privilege and act to it, act accordingly. You know That's so important. Yeah, right? yeah. Extremely I think important. a modern gentleman is is unnecessarily gifted with a lot of privilege which, of course. which a woman does not get. So be considerate and gentle about it. That's why you're a gentleman. Otherwise, you're just a modern man. Hmm. Yeah. What about mm. you? Humility? No, not... Humidity. Humility. Oh, humility. No, because I think humility doesn't do justice to what I was trying to say. I think it's just like you have to always be on the lookout to grow as a person. Yeah. And to just keep your mind open. Seeker? Maybe. <laughs> that sounds am like am a I Harry Potter you? thing, but... Uh, <laughs> like Quidditch we are suddenly playing, but yeah. I mean, yeah, it makes sense. You're, you're just, you should be open to grow as a right. person and not just stick to your core yeah, rigid yeah, beliefs. Yeah. That's a beautiful note to end this episode on. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for giving us your time. It, it was a great conversation. I've never met you guys before. so It felt like we're meeting for the seventh time, if I'm not wrong. Not really. <laughs> First time. <really. laughs> but thanks for... Uh, no, thanks to Man Company. You, you, they flew us down from multiple cities for this. We have never felt more special. Yeah. Oh, we shouldn't plug in the brand so much, but this was the most organic plug in. I wanted yeah. to. I wanted to. <laughs> but thank you, man company. <laughs> yeah. And thank you, uh, Ankur. It, it, it yeah. was, you had, you made the conversation educational also. So mm -hmm. I think that is not, yeah. we've seen in a podcast. So thank yeah. you so much. Oh yeah. Great. Great. I'm glad you guys enjoyed. And I hope you all, all you listeners also enjoyed watching this, watching and listening to this episode. You have no choice. You have to enjoy <laughs> this. And if no you're option. only listening to this, you can also watch it on YouTube on the Man Company's uh, yeah. YouTube channel. And uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Till then, please give us your feedback on social media at the rate Ankush Bahaguna at the rate The Man Company. And now I'm tired of speaking. So bye.